Welcome to the video tutorials for electric circuits. Uh, your first prompt, which is the first research question, what is the relationship between resistance and the current in a series circuit? So this is the first time that we're using the multimeters and I just wanna show you guys a couple things to help you along with this lab. Number one, stop untying these. Leave it tied and so it's nice and together. If you untie all these, the wires get all over the place. You don't know what's going where. You got stuff everywhere. So keep them tied. Keep it nice and tight so you can really see what's happening with the current. Um, I've got the multimeter that we're using in series with this circuit. Um, and as the instruction says, we need a constant voltage of 12 volts. So I'm going to crank that up to 12 right here. Um, with one bulb. Record the current, calculate the resistance, increase the resistance by adding bulbs in series. Remember to keep the voltage constant. Use the 200 milliamp setting on the blue multimeter. Okay, so I've got that set up. Um, also, one thing with your wires, I'll say this in a couple other videos too, but if, if you find that you don't have a lot of copper sticking out here, take the strippers that are in the back of the room and all you have to do is, it's gonna cut it right there. So you just put them into the stripper and squeeze, and then we're gonna pull this little metal, or sorry, the rubber off, and then we're just gonna flip that over and then twist it, and that gives like a good bite for the alligator clips. So then when you're attaching one alligator clip, I could attach one right here, and then I could attach another alligator clip right here. So um, it makes it really good for attaching. So we do, we do want a lot of copper sticking out of there. Okay. So, um, looks like I've got that set up. I need to change my multimeter to the 200M setting, which is gonna be right there, 200M. And looks like everything's good to go. I'm gonna turn on my switch and boom, bulb lights. And I'm getting a negative 91.6 or 91.7. The only reason that it's negative is because the way I've set this up, it's easier for me to put my black end here and my red end here. If I was to switch those, which I can show you, and if I was just to switch them under like this. Oh, my light bulb's going away. Then I would have a positive voltage, sorry, a positive current here. So um, if you get a negative sign, all you have to do is flip it or just don't put the negative sign in when you are recording your data. Okay, so for uh, this light bulb, the current that's going through it now with 12 volts is 92.2, .2, and that's milliamps. So I have to change that to amps. So that is going to be, uh, my voltage is 12. Let's see, let me go along with our table here. So the current in milliamps, I'm gonna write that in there, so 92.2. .2. Then I'm gonna change that to my current in amps, which is gonna be 0 0.0922. Then I'm going to um, calculate my resistance. And I'm gonna calculate my resistance by saying 12, right, voltage divided by the current, 0 0.0922 is equal to 130 ohms. That's a lot of resistance. I was really surprised when I saw that. Okay, so that's how much resistance we're having in one of these bulbs. Um, I'm gonna put that in my table. And then I'm going to add another bulb. So just to add another bulb, I'm just gonna take this one out. Um, I'm going to grab another bulb and a wire. Let's see, I think I've got one here. I'm gonna add that to the circuit. So now I've got two bulbs in series. Cross my fingers, it lights. Ooh, that looks dimmer. Uh, okay, look what happened to my current. So now my current went down to 64.5. So I'm gonna type that in. 64.5, um, then I'm, again, I'm gonna calculate the, um, the current in amps, not milliamps. I'm gonna calculate my resistance, and then eventually I'm gonna graph all of these. So uh, I'm not gonna do the rest. I think you guys can handle it from here. So good luck, and I can't wait to see how you think like scientists.